Hey, first grade families and friends, it's Miss Burns here. Welcome back to week seven, day three's math lesson. So for the last several lessons, we've really been hitting hard this idea of partitioning shapes into halves, two equal parts, and quarters or fourths, four equal parts. That's all around this standard 1G3. And yesterday we were able to use geoboards to help us partition shapes. Remember that a geoboard is a math tool that uses rubber bands. You can stretch the rubber bands around the pegs that are normally arranged in an array or rows and columns in order to make a shape. We then used red rubber bands to partition those shapes into halves and quarters. Today we're going to take advantage of everything there is on iReady to test our knowledge or kind of quiz ourselves on everything we've learned so far about halves and quarters. So let's take a look at some of our important vocabulary, those math terms that are going to help us speak and talk about our work, just like real mathematicians. A fraction is a part of a whole. And when we're talking about fractions in first grade, we are talking about halves and quarters. Halves are two equal parts of a whole. Quarters are four equal parts of a whole. Please excuse the knocking in the background. We have roofers on top of the roof, and actually their job very much involves a lot of geometry. If you think of the whole roof as one big rectangle, they have to compose, or in some cases partition that rectangle, the roof, into tons of teeny tiny little rectangles to be able to cover the whole thing so the rain doesn't come in when it rains, which is what happened last week. So if you hear some knocking around, that's what that is. Here's some examples of halves. We have half of an orange, half of a circle, a glass that is half full, keeping in mind that fractions don't apply just to things that are solid. It can also be with liquids, as well as half of a watermelon. And with fourths, again, fourths are four equal parts. One fourth is one of those equal parts of the whole. So now we're gonna jump into iReady. This video will be a part of your some more. And you'll notice that there are, I'm gonna come down here to our taskbar, tons of questions that you have as options. So what I like about this video on iReady is you have 19 opportunities to show what you know about geometry and about partitioning shapes, okay? So here's our first question. How many halves are in a whole circle? Well, if I know that halves means two equal parts, then there must be two halves in a whole circle. And I'm gonna mute the iReady because it just gives a lot of feedback and it's going do 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 do. Yay, it's so happy for us. Okay, our next How many fourths are in a whole rectangle? Well, if I take this rectangle and I wanna cut it or partition it into fourths, I'm getting a hint right here in the word. The word four is a part of the word fourths. So I know that fourths are four parts. Four parts that make up the whole rectangle. Next question. How many quarters are in a whole square? Well, I know that quarters and fourths are the same. And if fourths are four equal parts, then quarters must also be four equal parts. See how we're testing what we know? We've already done so much work with partitioning shapes, and now we're able to answer these questions really quickly and easily. Which shape is divided into halves? Halves, well, I know that halves are two equal parts. So I can automatically get rid of this rectangle on the end because I have one, two, three equal parts here. So it can't be the rectangle. Let's take a look at the two circles. The green circle is divided into two parts, but those are not equal. One is much smaller than the other. The orange circle is divided into two parts and those are equal. If I folded that circle in half, each side would be exactly the same. So this orange circle is divided into halves. All right, our next question is coming. We're zooming right through because we have already done so much practice partitioning. Which shape is divided into fourths? Now again, I'm already thinking to myself before I even look at my answers, fourths, 
four is in that word four this must be asking me for four equal parts also known as quarters well that helps me eliminate or get rid of this purple rectangle because that's divided into one two equal parts those are called halves can't be the rectangle let's look at the circle well the circle is divided into one two three four parts but are those equal are they all exactly the same shape and size? No. See how the pieces on the end have a curved side while the pieces in the middle have a small curved side on either end? These are not the same shape and size. So the circle is not divided into fourths. It must be this green rectangle. One, two, three, four equal parts. Four equal parts are called fourths. Another word for fourths is quarters. We're going to do one more question. I don't want to answer all of them for you. That'll give all of the magic away. And then you guys will have a chance to go back in through a Nearpod link and you can answer these questions yourself. Last question. Which shape is divided into quarters? Oh, that's easy. We just answered a question about fourths. We said fourths and quarters are the same thing. That means that a shape is divided into four equal parts. Get rid of this circle. This is only one, two, three parts, and they aren't even equal. The pink circle, one, two, three, four equal parts. They look exactly the same. This must be divided into quarters. We're just going to check over here with our square. One, two, three, four parts, but those are not equal. Look at the difference between this little baby triangle that is a part of this partition and this huge triangle on the bottom. Nope, that is not divided into quarters. It is our pink circle here. Let's go back to our vocabulary and review. We know that fractions are equal parts of a whole, and in first grade we're talking about halves and quarters. Halves are two equal parts of a whole, quarters and fourths are four equal parts of a whole. Your job is going to be to click on the Microsoft link, excuse me, the Microsoft form, to complete your Microsoft form, as well as click into the iReady link that's going to be through a Nearpod and answer as many of those questions and test your knowledge. All right, friends, we will see you back here tomorrow, and I can't wait to show you what we have got in store. Bye, friends.